Two years ago, Fujifilm announced its first medium format camera, the GFX 50S. Instead of jumping on the full frame mirrors camera bandwagon, the Japanese imaging giant doubled down on the medium format. Simply put, what medium format cameras like Fujifilm's upcoming GFX100 has over full frame cameras is its image sensor, which is around 70% larger than full frame image sensor. This allows for more resolution and details than a full frame mirrors or DSLR camera. A day after the launch of the GFX100, Fujifilm brought around 30 journalists from around the world, including myself, to its Taiwan manufacturing facility in Japan. Situated 390 km north of Tokyo is Fujifilm's Taihua factory. The journey is a 100-minute Shinkansen bullet train ride from Tokyo's main station to Sendai station. After that, it is a 45-minute bus trip to the factory. The factory has been producing SLR film cameras since 1968 before making medium format cameras in the 1980s. But for the past decade, it has switched production to digital APS-C size mirrorless camera like its X-T3. But two years ago, it moved back to making medium format cameras again. The 227 square meter factory is home to about 2,000 workers who on a monthly average manufacture around 18,000 Fujifilm camera bodies as well as 30,000 to 50,000 Fujifilm lenses. It's ironic that photography is limited in most areas of the X factory. But before we got a closer look, we have to don anti-static, anti-dust overalls and go through a clean chamber. And there's no way anyone could look cool in these overalls. First is the room where the image sensor is being produced, as well as where some of the Fujifilm lenses are assembled. The 5-axis in-body image stabilization module, or EBIS, alone consists of 110 pieces. I was a bit surprised to see the EBIS module taking up very little space around the image sensor. The EBIS module is also said to provide up to 5.5 stops of image stabilization. Following the image sensor assembly and test, we proceeded to the body assembly line. It was rather mesmerizing to see the various magnesium shell slowly taking shape under the careful hands of the technicians. They were mounting the image sensor into its magnesium alloy body with precision. You know, I always thought this was done by robots these days. The camera is assembled from close to 900 different pieces which are made in various locations in Japan and overseas before arriving here for the final assembly. The result is the GFX100 being weather sealed in 95 spots throughout its magnesium alloy body. Finally, a technician applies the leather skins to the shell of the GFX100 body to complete the assembly. When all the skins are applied, the 1.4kg GFX100 is ready for shipment. The 102 megapixel GFX100 is Fujifilm's third model in the medium format GFX series, and it isn't cheap. The body alone goes for $14,999. It is the first medium format camera to feature a backside illuminated image sensor. What this means for you? Well, it's the first camera with an image sensor of this size to offer native 4K video recording at 30p. The GFX100 features a detachable super high resolution 5.76 million dots electronic viewfinder and a tiltable 3.2 inch touchscreen display. From the images I took and viewed from the display, the details and resolution look ultra sharp. The grip is superb and provides a great grasp of the camera. And the build is rock solid. Autofocusing is really fast, locking to subjects accurately almost instantaneously in good indoor lighting. But the most important takeaway from the factory visit was not just the technology behind the camera, but seeing the passion, dedication and craftsmanship of the technicians who did the assembly. So if you're looking for the best camera in the market right now and you can foot the bill for it, get your hands on the Fujifilm GFX100 which is expected to be released in July this year.